Monsieur Messier. Monsieur Perry, can you rush past the bunch again? Come join us. I wish that I could, but I go now to see my chenille safely home. But Don Bouchard has been feeling not well. So, my Janine and several others went to your church service to visit with her. I ask that she not leave for home until I come. It would not be safe for her to travel home alone. Let your Janine visit a while longer. She will not mind. You too need rest. You need enjoyment. Yesterday, you helped fix a tired steam engine at the sawmill. This morning, you renewed your spirit, I hope, in the church service. Now stop for a moment and play bocce. Enjoyment can fix both, the tired mind and the tired body. Come, you're just in time. Mr. Michael is about to throw the target ball. Yeah. <laughs> One left. Now watch me touch the first bunch of ball within inches of the target ball. Move back, man. You know his inches. <laughs> <laughs> This one's just been so is mine. He missed the target ball by a ball. <laughs> Listen to him. He had not yet picked something falling already makes excuses. This is not excuse. My arms do ache. Remember, it was I who lifted the ball to saw all day yesterday. How do we forget? We can't last longer than any day of doing. It was not because of me. We had trouble with that saw all day yesterday. We never have trouble with the saw when I operate it. <laughs> oh, what's the matter with everyone? Do we relax and play bocce on Sunday afternoon, or are we still at the sawmill? Even here on Sunday, a simple jest has turned to argument. Come, play bocce, at least for today, forget the sawmill. Hey, my turn, John. Come on. Throw the ball. You can see how far so on. You know that you're supposed to tell us and not roll. I told you that my arms are sore. So tell me, is not the object of the game to see who can come closest to the target ball? Yes. Well, you toss, then I'll roll. And whoever gets closest to the target ball gets the punch. We know God knew what brings a woman to the bocce court. Do you look for a man with a body? Yes. Yes, I look for a man. I look and I look for a man. Have you seen one? <laughs> I see but children, selfish children playing and thinking only of self, self, self. New families beyond those riches need to be visited. But your women dare not go to visit alone for fear of bear and wolf. They need you men to go with them. I went with my Marguerite to visit with Anna yesterday while Henri was at the sawmill. Scared to death we were, but we walked across those mountains. That poor child Anna, lonely and frightened. I fear for what is happening to her in her loneliness. Ooh, everywhere there is suffering. Mr. Pascal, thou starving woman saying that you cheat. We cheat no one. He bought stock in the community corporation. When you buy stock in the corporation, you can't throw out money bit by bit. What does he know about stock in a thing? He but knows that he now has no money with which to buy food. Many do not understand this, this thing. And now your daughter for jobs in warm houses in cities. And send to you their little money to help pay for your land while you play bocce. Yes, what a guy do. For a few minutes on Sunday afternoon, we play bocce. There must be some fun with all this work, or this place would be more than any of us to play. This is an on-off thing. On-off. Oh, All right, come on. 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 Come